Hello everyone, I'm Modi here from your Target Common YouTube channel and this video will be continuous into Karate Framework playlist. In this video, we will learn to perform a post request in Karate Framework and also we will learn to create a JSON object and JSON array in Karate. First, let me show you which API I am going to use in this video. So here we have an API to create an airline. This API takes a JSON object. So there are multiple ways of creating the JSON payload in Karate. We can create it, we can pass it from file, we can pass it from Java method. There are so many other ways. But in this video, we will create a JSON object in the feature file itself. So let me go to the project and I will create a new feature file here. You can right click on a line, go to new Karate file. This option is coming because of that Karate extension. So this option will create the feature file automatically for you you just need to give the name so i have given the name as create a line no need to pass any extension simply enter so here you can see it added dot feature so that is the advantage of that option let me give the feature description and scenario description quickly so we know that first thing we need to pass the url so for that i can use given and please remember there is no fixed rule that you need to use given you can use any keywords like given when then and whatever you want even you can use star also there is no such rule that you need to use given only or when only so let me define the api endpoint i need to use the keyword url then i need to pass the json payload for that i can use and here i need to use the keyword called request so one way i can pass the whole json body in one line so we know that we need to pass this json payload load in one line so i can convert this multi line json to one line online so here i have passed the json payload in one line then i need to say that which iterative method it is or what type of call it is so it is a post call so i'm defining when i need to use the keyword call method and i will pass post and i will simply check the status code which will be 200 so it should go for then status 200. Let me run this program. But before that, I will just change the ID so that I will get the past test case. We have passed the URL without double quotes or single quotes. So let me pass in double quotes and rerun the scenario. So this time you can see scenario is passed and we have the LN created. Now you will be thinking passing the multi-line JSON payload into a single line is a problem because every time you need to convert those multi-line JSON to single line, then need to pass it here. And also it is not readable. It is not like that. We need to pass the multi-line JSON into one line only. We can pass as it is. Let me show you that. I will copy this scenario. I will change the name as multi-line. I will remove this one. So what we need to do to pass the multi-line JSON, we need to use the keyword whatever you want and use the keyword request and here you need to be careful we need to use three double quotes and do enter and between these two i need to paste my json let me change the id and run this scenario so here you can see test scenario is passed and it has used the same id whatever i have used above so this way we can pass the multi line json but you need to be careful here if i place this in the same line like this and let me change the id and if i run it again let me show you what error we will get so here you can see test cases failed and if you go to console it says that mismatch input expecting end of file this is happening because it is expecting some json object which is starting from curly braces that's why it is giving you the error so you need to give the triple double quotes in the next line only then only your program will work. So passing the multi-line JSON as it is will increase the readability. Now let's create the JSON object. I will copy this scenario and paste it down. Change the description as created. So we know that for this API, we require JSON object. So first thing we need to define an empty payload. This time I will use a star and to define a variable, I need to use the keyword called def. And here I can name it as like request payload and this will be empty empty json object and instead of star you can use any gherkin keyword but if that statement is a generic statement where you are defining the variable you are calling any java file or you are creating the methods so for that it's it is better to use star so i have created one empty payload now i need to 
add the keys to it because json object is a key value pair so here and to use the star use this variable request payload and to add the key i need to use dot and the first key is id and give the value same thing we need to do for others like request payload dot name we can add multiple keys in the same line also means i can use the comma and here i can add the country also so there's no need to go for new line every time so let me complete it quickly so here you can see that i have added all those keys which are required for my json payload and for the next line where i need to pass the payload instead of passing this whole json i just need to pass the variable name means request payload let me run this scenario so here you can see test case is passed and it is taking the json payload whatever we have created you can print this variable also to see how json is created from it so this way we can create the json object for this api i don't have any json array but let me show you how we can create the json array as well so what i'm going to do this is my payload in this payload i will simply add a new field maybe address this address will hold a json array i will have only two fields like city and state so i just want to add a new field which contains a json array and i want to create it in creative framework so basic is clear when we need to create a simple json object so we declare one empty json object then we started adding the keys into it same thing we need to follow for json array first we need to create an empty json array let's do it so the first step i need to add one empty json array so request payload dot address and put empty array so in this array we are going to have multiple json objects so each json object will be represented using the index so here i need to use request payload dot address address of zero empty json object then from the next line i need to add the keys so let me copy it so first key is city second key we have state let me give the values and same thing will go for the second object so instead of zero just we need to use one i will change this values and let me print this request payload so i need to use the print keyword and just pass this variable because this hold the complete json object and let me run this scenario so obviously test case will fail because we have not changed the id and also i am not sure what will happen if we pass the extra field so you can see it has printed the json let me copy it and go to json online editor so here you can see that whatever we were expecting in the same way we have created the json so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone